So Welcome to the Alan Jimby podcast. I want to finish my story. Alex was telling a story about racists. There's a game called Helldivers. Most people are playing it very big in the video game world. These two guys uh, joined me and my friend Sean when we were playing the other day. Or I guess it was today. Time is confusing. Yeah. Um, and they were calling each other the N-word back and forth. They were clearly white guys. One of them had the number 88 in their name, which I didn't know. My friend told me that's like a dog whistle racist thing. I guess it means like Heil Hitler because it's like eighth, eighth letter in the alphabet. It was fucked up. Um, and it was kind of, they were being sus. And then they kept killing us. They were bad at the game. They just like were being like all willy nilly dumb. And so at the end of the game, they got at the end of, at the end of each like game at, at the end of the round. If you can picture this, I can picture an it. An airship comes in and it picks you up and you get evac'd. And everyone has to go in one at a time. And when you're in the airship, you get locked in, and then you just like wait there for everyone else to get in. Mm. But you can shoot people when they're in the airship and kill them still. And it's funny. And so whenever <laughs> well, they both got in before me and Sean, and I just killed both of them, and they both started freaking out. And then they just start calling me the N-word, but like not the friendly N-word, like the bad, like hard R. Like they were... Being very racist. Wow. And so it was like all of our kind of thoughts about them were coming true. Like they were just like shitty people. Um, but yeah, that was the story. It, it just is, it's surprising how yeah, well, how casually racist people can be. Of all the things that you expect to, to be called. Well, I definitely don't. Certainly, you know, not, um, not the just worst an slur in, for, inaccurate slur. For African American people, yeah. Right, well, because Alex is mixed, but he's certainly not black. <laughs> you can't just say I'm mixed. You have to explain why Alex you're saying Alex is mixed that. race. He's a mixed Zoomer. What does that mean to you? That means to me that if Alex was filling out the census, when he gets to race, he would select two or more. No, what? What? Okay, what are the two races? What? White what? and Italian. Italian isn't on it. Italian's lumped into white. Uh, agree to disagree. Listen, as the it Italian person... And by the way, I'm not a large an Italian. I'm like fourth, maybe like eighth Italian. But there's a we got a one drop policy with Italians. Okay, well, regardless, <laughs> Italians are white people. Sorry, sorry to break it to you. Anyway, <laughs> and that's how Alan Jimby ended. Over disagreements, on dude. Race. Uh, so I'll tell you this: I I've been sick for the past week. I've had like a shitty cold. Yeah, he's been like doing kickflips and and hitting the skate park. <laughs> what is? It? He's been sick all week. Oh, uh, nice, dude. Nah, but, nah. He 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 I, does have a, a disease of some sort. I don't though. have a disease. I'm fine. Um, today's mm. the first day where I've kind of felt better after. I mean, almost like six, seven days. Um, I've kind of like been self isolating because I didn't want to get anyone sick. But dude, yeah. so last night, um, I couldn't sleep very well, and I I was up until like seven a.m. Fuck. This is a multi tiered story. Oh no. I'm up until like seven a.m. and I get a text from my dad. And he says, here, I'll pull up the text because it's just too perfect. Right, because for your dad, it's 9 a.m., so it's like gonna, normal. He I'm just I'm not going to misquote him. Also, because of my fucked up sleep schedule, a lot of the time I don't get up until like 10. And so my dad Ugh. my dad expects me to be up later. So he'll send me something, and then like, I'll get back to him like two or three. Because he's, he's two hours away, too, because he's in central time zone. He's in yeah. Texas. Um, and so he says... <laughs> First text I get from my dad today <laughs> at 8 o'clock. <laughs> he says, you should try to fix your own meals more often. Yeah. That's the first sentence. Yeah. Second sentence, they would be healthier for you. And if that's where it stopped, I'd be like, that's great. That's a helpful dad. He's trying to save me money. He's trying to be nice. And then yeah. he says, and better for your waistline. <laughs> Damn, your dad just fat shamed you? Roasted, he roasted the fuck out of me. Yeah. yeah and okay. so I said, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And then he says, happy to hear that you are up. Have a great productive day with a thumbs up and he a heart. He thinks that you so got up early. I'm up when early. When really you've been, you've been gaming since 11 p.m. 
so, you put in an eight-hour shift at the Steam offices. And here's what I like about this. Working from home as a professional gamer. And I wasn't up playing video games. I just couldn't. I, I've had a hard time sleeping for the past like month. I feel like I have some sort of insomnia. I need to go to like a sleep doctor or something mm. to kind of figure it out because... I, I, I'm not staying up doing anything. I just will lay in bed for like five hours and I just won't be able to sleep. I'll just sit there and I'm just thinking. May I put my doctor's cap on for a second? No. You need to get high, my brother. I don't want to get high. I Dude, I spent a lot of years being high in college. Uh, I got high at the end of high school. I don't and you probably high. And you probably got sleep during those years is what I'm saying. I don't know, maybe. It's the only way. You know what? Here's the thing, bro. I... I don't like to be dependent on any substance, but the only way that I can guarantee that I'm going to sleep well is if I have, uh, if I have a little nibble of an edible. Okay. I mean, if fair I, enough. If I don't do that, it depends on too many other factors, and I usually just lay in bed staring at the ceiling. Yeah. Even edibles don't always help me though. Like I've had. Really. Yeah. Sometimes I'll have an edible, and then that'll just keep me up too. I just, I, I have a very active brain, and for some reason at yeah. night, for whatever reason, late night time is like the time where my brain starts to really get active. I think it's, it's because, because it's the first time all day you've been free from distractions, and so finally your creativity has had a chance to be unsuppressed. Maybe, that could be it, we'll see. I, I, I do think I should go to like a sleep doctor about it and figure it out, but... I think what you gotta do is ditch the phone, ditch Instagram. So... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, doctor. Hey, uh, man, I'm just saying, I'll save you all the time right now. You could go see a doctor who's going to tell you the same thing or nothing. Or, uh, or you but can... But I'm not on my phone. I'm literally just, like, fucking... I'm just saying, if you if you spent more time with your thoughts during the day, you wouldn't have so many... Oh, with my You're thoughts? You're giving yourself blue brain. And then you... And what it... thoughts are those? Big booty Latinas? Big white? Women. I don't know what you dream about, Thoughts? Bro. Really, Jim? It's 2024, and you're still calling <laughs> women thoughts? Disgusting behavior. Hey, Amen. Disgusting and, and quite frankly... Disgusting and quite frankly... A disgrace. Will you shut up, man? And we have to do Trump and Biden every podcast until they both get elected finally. Dude, do you think that? Dude, uh, how cool would it be? Dude, how cool would it if be? they made love? Dude, how cool would it be if if Trump was like Joe Biden will both be president, and then <laughs> they, they just share? Yeah, dude. Honestly, it would like be it, better for both of them because they'd have more time to rest. It cures the country. We would finally be able to start day one of healing. I feel like that would be the number one thing that would make a. Uh, like Trump supporters like want to like kill is if if Trump was just like I'm equal to Joe Biden if he just like got rid of all of his negative rhetoric about Joe Biden and then they just were president that actually you know what a funny reality would be too is if they both and obviously this can't happen it's like legally not a pr thing but if they both were president but they were still like mad at each other <laughs> that is funny. and they're just screaming at they each just, other they get cat dogged dude they're they just, have, there's like this a state Trump's of the union head is coming out of Biden's ass they're just one man with no ass <laughs> it's state of the union and Biden's just like we have an amazing economy and Trump's just like he's gay yeah, yeah. there's nothing that's nothing he's saying that makes any and he says whatsoever. And he's like, shut up. I'm trying to talk. And then like. He's uh, talking out of my ass. Like AOC is just like clapping. But then she's also frowning, you know. Sure. She's I don't frowning think AOC probably likes Biden that much either, but to she, be honest But because with you. it gets so mixed up, she doesn't know what to do anymore. Yeah. You know, a better person would probably be like. Uh, Ron DeSantis. Mitt, Mitt Romney. Is he even still alive? Mitt Romney? Yes. No, <laughs> Mitt Romney's still alive. He's like one of the most centrist Republicans doing it, I would say. Damn. Um, I mean, he's like a fucking lame, weird guy. Yeah, he's but like dude, a it's just so milk weird. toast. Can we just talk about politics for a second? I don't really want to, <laughs> but okay. I just I wanted to go on a tiny, tiny little tangent. It just is amazing how fucking annoying these two candidates feel to me that someone like Mitt Romney feels rational when he, when he ran against obama i hated him thought he was a fucking yeah. doofus and i still think he's a fucking doofus but in comparison to these guys that are just like not yeah up to snuff 
he seems preferable and it's sad yeah it's like our our um it makes you mourn where our country's gone that he suddenly doesn't seem so bad our bar has been lowered yeah isn't when that when sad? it's like if you think about it and you you bring yourself back to reality for a sec you're like oh he is still horrible yeah no i don't like him yeah. But when he talks, it's like, oh, he's this coherent. Is, this is it's what just, they want. Dude. I feel like this that's is what, what they want. Bro. That's like a large appeal of like RFK Jr. too. Even though he has some kind of fringe beliefs, you know, like he. Well, he's running independent, and he's gonna have Aaron Rodgers as his running mate. Did you hear about this? What? Aaron Rodgers is on Robert Kennedy Jr.'s shortlist for VP. He's, I didn't. Aaron know Aaron Rodgers said recently wow. that they talk every day. And That's... he published a short list, and Aaron Rodgers is on it. That's such a random thing <laughs> that could happen. Imagine just, like, three questions into the bait, he tears his Achilles. <laughs> um, but What a hack. Yeah, no... But it, it just is, like, that's the thing. That's, like, the main appeal of RFK is, like, even if you don't believe in him, it's, like... You know, he's just like a fucking dude that seems normal. But I don't even like RFK. I don't like a lot of things he says. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to vote for... I don't I don't know how I feel about any of this shit anymore. I don't really want to vote for the main dudes. I, I don't want to vote for yeah. RFK. I'm still deciding who I'm going to vote for, but I've decided that it will not be Trump and it will not be Biden. I, I will not do it. it just, I'm not going to bring myself to it. I, I just hate them both so bad. Yeah, I mean, it's just a fucking like weird thing, man. I don't... I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe at the end of the day, I will vote for for Biden, but I don't really think I can. I can't stomach him, bro. I really can't. The is, only reason I, why not, I would yeah. consider voting for him is the stupid ass thing that they've locked us into, which is like the which them is, versus us thing. And the only reason why I would vote for Biden over Trump is because I don't want them to put more fucking like uh, constitutional like. Uh, jihadist like judges in the fucking power anymore I mean, because the that, Supreme that's Court how the is fucking, a big one yeah the, I mean not even just the Supreme Court but all the fucking judges like that's yeah that's why all the all these crazy things keep happening with these states I mean yeah the appointees is the, probably the most consequential thing that's like the nine, most important thing honestly that the nine things do. out of ten that Trump or Biden would do would not be that different and people people don't want to admit that yeah. Like, most of the shit they would do is is not that different. And I'm also not so radical to say that I think Trump, every appointee that he would do would be bad, but I do think, yes. I don't think that he has a very good discerning hand. I think that it's kind of a mistake if he appoints someone that is just or... Trump? Yes. Um, oh, dude, he is only going to uh, appoint wackos. He has appointed some of the worst fucking people. I guess though. my point is is that he's su he has such a... I think he just is so out of it, and he's... Well, He's so wild that I, even if it was someone who's more rational, I would not even trust that. I think the question. I mean, it's just, it's not a reality that I want to see. Here's the question. I'm appointing more of those people that I don't trust. Here's the question. Who's going to be president of our kitchen? Will it be the stick of butter or the bar of soap next to the sink? Here's and we take you live to the presidential debate between the butter and the soap. Alex, who are you going to play, and what's your opening remark? You made me play butter or soap? Pick. <laughs> okay, here's my counteroffer. What if, um, in your shower, your soap was replaced with butter, and then you, you never could find it again? You never could find the soap again, and your only option was to bathe I would just with be, butter? I would just be a buttered-up little freak. You would be, you would put butter, but then, like, the, I feel like the oil would not let the water in. Sure, it would but be also horrible the, for me. But yeah. also the scent might be better than just a regular... Like, if you got a sweet... I would just get eaten by a dog, day one. <laughs> <laughs> I would not... <laughs> you just get eaten by a dog because all the fat out of your body. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I didn't even think about that. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of Jim getting eaten by a dog. But who would get elected president of the zoo? Would it be the lion or the gorilla? Well, what are their platforms? Let's think about it. The lion would say more meat, more sex for me, more potatoes. <laughs> he would say law of strength. The thing is, the he would say society's fabric comes from the strong making the decisions. Well, the gorilla would be interesting because the gorilla would probably have a lot of social policies that I would align with, but he would also have some anti-Semitic messaging. Yes, which would uh, frustrate me. But I think the gorilla is just a more intelligent creature, which would allow 
I think, for his base to really appreciate it. But the lion would just get riled up. Well, here, here's another thing to think about. What if you lobotomized the the um you lobotomized the gorilla and then you you shook the lion up really bad every day to the point where it just was like gonna hurt everyone around like who would you vote for then like just a guy like a fucking sorry not a not a guy a gorilla that's just fucking brain dead or a, or shooken up lion like an espresso yeah i would ha- oh just to add fuck. to your <laughs> which one would you prefer a lion that's fucking psychotic or a or a gorilla who can't get anything done <laughs> A gorilla who just can't rally up the troops. Because um, what if the zoo gets what's invaded? What's the state of the zoo right now? Is it a, is are things good or are things bad? The border's open. <laughs> <laughs> They're letting in a lot of little kids into the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> These little kids, we don't know where they come from. I'm the lion. <laughs> uh. You don't want to see what I would do to those kids if they got near me with one of those guns that they want to shoot me with. We gotta get more bananas in here and really just all have a blast. So basically, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to illustrate here is that our political system is a farce, and if you align us with animals, we can understand this better. Yeah. It's satirical. Because one of them is Joseph Rob Robin Oh shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? Dude, I just remembered that we were supposed to have uh we were supposed to call Jim. Why are we calling Jim? Jim Jobeck? Yeah. Why's that? Let's see if he's still up. It's pretty late for him, huh? Yeah, let's see if he's still up. Why um He wanted to be a guest on the podcast. This is our friend Jim from school when we were at Second City in Chicago. He's a cool guy. Oh, fuck. Doesn't seem like he's going to pick up. Your call has been forwarded yeah. to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the top. Fuck. Yeah, that's horrible, man. That is awful. That is just awful. What if um, I've been watching a lot of Zach King on YouTube. Who the fuck is that? That's the guy who does uh, edits, and he makes it look like shit happened that was weird and strange. What do you mean? What You're being so broad right now. He's an editor? So he does, like, quirky little short videos where it's like... Zach King? Yeah, where, like, something isn't what it appeared to be. He plays with perspective and... He does these edits that are really seamless. Can you give me an example? No. Why did you bring it up then? Okay, like if he like <laughs> if he throws hell? if he throws a ball in the air and it's getting bigger because it's getting closer to camera, then he would have like a seamless edit without cutting where the ball just is big and it oh, just lands. Oh, is he that fucking guy who's like? It just like lands on somebody. Is he and the fucking like, guy ah! who's like? I made the first picture that goes. In forever. Is he the that fucking fuck annoying you, ass prick? The fuck are you talking about? Is he that about? fucking guy who has like... I don't like, know what you're talking there's about, There's like a video dude. that zooms in on a picture and he's like, this picture... It does like that stupid ass robot voice. like, this picture goes forever. I don't think so. He and then it do keeps that going bullshit. into the picture. He doesn't do that crap. And then it's just kind of like, this is clearly all stitched together. And people in the comments are like... This is so detailed, you can't imagine the size, how big is this picture? And it's like, dude, this is clearly fucking No, it's not that. Stitched together. That's not what he does. What does he do then? What does he like? He makes, he makes, uh... What does he make? A, a guy, a guy with legs not have them? I mean, like, what does he do? What does he do that's so special? That's something he might do. I mean, I could see it. Go to most popular. What is he most popular for? So he shakes up a can. So he's painting, okay, so a, he's painting a ladder on the wall, wall, and then the ladder becomes real. And when real. he, okay. when the camera moves, the ladder just becomes real without cutting. Yeah. Now he continues to paint. And yeah, the cop sees the him. Cop sees him. So he climbs up, and now it's paint again, and the cop can So it's like real life cartoon kind of logic. Okay. 
I mean, sure. So he's like one of the most viral. He's got 28 million subscribers. He's one of the most viral, famous people in the world right now. I just want to say this to our viewers and to the internet at large. Stop making things like this. <laughs> I think it's annoying. I think it's so fucking like, look at me, I did something epic. Yeah, what's wrong with that? It's just dude? lame. It's lame to me. Okay, what about Mr. Beast? How do you Mr. feel about Mr. Breast him? should be executed by military tribunal. Okay, what about PewDiePie, though? He already lived too long. <laughs> we saw what happened to him. He became racist. What about Markiplier? Markiplier is the only one that should be salvaged. What about Smosh? They're back. I actually kind of feel okay about Smosh. I don't really like their sketches, but I actually like their... I like what they're doing for society. I like their side content, like their their silly thing where they like do like little games. They just do like improv games and stuff, and it's kind of fun to watch. Why are you looking in the fucking camera? I can have my stupid thing if you have your thing where you're like, oh, it's a cartoon. <laughs> I can like I can like a part of Smosh if you like if you like a guy building All a right. ladder with spray paint. <laughs> Alex and I are about to do some improv games, some short form improv games like you see on Whose Line Is It Anyway or at an improv show. Star Wars show. The Phantom Menace. Okay, so we're going to improv out. Mm, I enjoyed your bits. So we're going to be playing a game <laughs> where Alex says a line and I can either respond to the line or I can say. Little Andy? Or I can say new choice. If I say new choice, he has to change what he said. And he can do the same thing to me. And we're going to do Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. That's our prompt. That's our prompt. Ready? Yeah. There's a disturbance in the Force. I can't figure it out, Qui-Gon. What is it? Obi-Wan. Stop touching my penis. <laughs> New choice. Obi-Wan, my little stinky boy. Turn around so I can spank you for saying something so stupid. Oh no. You're you sure are <laughs> tough on me. Ow! Don't do that. Use your force powers to be a bigger boy and stop complaining. Man, if this is what it takes to be a Jedi, I guess I'll do it. New choice. Man, I don't even want to be a Jedi anymore. What did you say? Because you spank me till my ass is raw. You can't just leave the Jedi Order. Yes, I can. No, you can't, you fool. Starts to seem more like you have a Jedi Disorder. That is not funny. That's actually not funny. That New choice. It. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a different accent. Is that a good choice? That's fine. Let's go kill that guy with the red face paint. I bought a gun just for this. <laughs> Let's load that fucking gun up and go shoot him in the head. Later at the pod race. Oh, man. We got seats all the way in the back. This sucks. Ma, New choice. <laughs> New choice. Peanuts. <laughs> Popcorn. Oh, shit. Qui-Gon, can we get some? <laughs> Space cotton candy. Qui-Gon, can we get some cotton candy? It's not regular peanuts. We don't have those. Come on, I'm going to go buy some. Sir, I have a $5 bill. What will that get me? What? I have a $5 bill. What will that get me? We don't take that. This is space money. I use Jedi we need Mind Trick. space money. Jedi Mind Trick, this is the money that you accept. New choice. You will take this money and give me a hot dog. He unzips his pants. <laughs> Not like that! Not like that! He starts, the, the hot dog guy does met Jedi mind trick on Obi-Wan. He's like, you will suck me off. And he's like, okay. Um, don't worry, if you, if you insist. You want to do, this is like a porn parody now? No, it's just like a, it's like a tasteful pan to the fireplace. Like, Qui-Gon the, walks up and says, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing to my apprentice? He's sucking me off. It's fun. I like it. Get your mouth off of his dick, Obi-Wan. God damn it. Oh, am I a bad Jedi? Yes. Yes, you are. Aww. 
No, get back to your seat before I shoot he you with this gun that I bought for that red-faced bastard. He <laughs> used the voice on me. Yeah, it's, fuck you. This isn't dude, you bitch. Hey, look, it's that child <laughs> who's driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he crashed! Fuck! Oh no, Anakin's on fire! Oh, uh, cut to Anakin and C-3PO trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they both explode. <laughs> They're both paralyzed immediately from the impact. <laughs> they both their spines snap. There's robot android spine. His, ah! his droid spine and his human spine. Ah! Ah! Anyway. Lunch. Okay. That's that's Jojo Binks. Ah, me so hungry. I've been wanting food this whole time. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want to see us do the rest of the Star Wars movies, you'll have to stick around for the second half of the podcast. I don't know why you would. That shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do our blue harvest. <laughs> Almost knocked this over is, my coffee. This is our blue harvest when Star when Family Guy did Star Wars. We're gonna do that, but for Alan Jimby. It'd be really funny if that's all we do in the back half. We just do Star, <laughs> just do Star Wars. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember half the fucking shit that happens. I love Star Wars. I'll but... guide us through it. Don't worry. Okay, that's what we're gonna do for the second Star half. Wars is is so we're gonna do a fucking little, awesome. We're gonna do a little bit of Star Wars. Jar Jar Twinks. Guys, only the Patreon supporters can see the second half, so make sure you head over there. Goodbye. And, uh, Have a good Christmas. Thank you to our supporters, and we love you all. Thank you for so listening. much for being birthed. If you're still listening after we talked about politics for like five minutes, you're an angel. <laughs>